Hello y'all, welcome back to the channel. For those of y'all that are new, welcome to MDLR Fishing. My name is Mark and I'm gonna be your host today. The Weatherman, the weather app has got me yet again. I swear I keep telling myself that I'm not going to pay attention to that weather app because more often than not, they get it wrong and I end up losing a day of fishing. So what are we gonna do? I'm gonna make an attempt to get back out there on the water, minus the kayak. Let's uh, get the waders ready and hit up a local Galveston Island hotspot here on the beautiful Texas Gulf Coast. That is my area, that is where I love to fish and the home waters have tons of redfish, flounder and speckled trout. So let's get out there. But before we do, I wanted to show y'all some of the merch that I have. If you go down below the video on desktop or on mobile, you can check out all the stuff that I have to offer. All of these designs are thought up inside this little area right here. And uh, I got a graphics designer, I think that's what you call it, to create them. And if you wanna help support the channel, that is definitely a way to do so. I earn a small commission off of each sale, but most importantly, it's the wearing of my gear that helps to advertise the channel. So yeah, anyhow, I just wanted to let y'all know, but hang tight and we're gonna get right out there. Water's pretty high. I can barely, barely walk without getting my pack wet. And what I'm doing right now is just trying to find some soft mud. I'm in a lot of, you see that stuff right there? That's kind of like what I'm walking over. As soon as I start feeling the soft mud, I will pick my spot out and start casting. All right, here we go. This is it. Let's put our pole down. Should have brought a float for this thing. I don't know if this is gonna be able to stick in there. It's like a sandy bottom with very soft mud mixed in with it. I don't know that I trust that. We don't have enough soft bottom for this to dig into, so we'll just forego the second camera angle. That right there is the last cast. Uh, no bites at all and everybody else using their live bait right there on that boat and then their gulp uh, nobody has any bent rods so we're gonna pack it up after this one hop across the road and see what we can find over there on the calmer side <laughs> that's probably the only fish i'm gonna see today <sighs> zero bites no bent rods, approximately 12 plus anglers that I have seen out here waiting on a Monday. It's just like a weekend. Actually, I don't know. The weekend's probably going to be a lot crazier than what I've seen so far. This is going to be the last cast, ladies and gentlemen. No bites at all. I got like a couple of hours out here, the channel side. In the bay side, really good soft bottom, zero bait, so without that it's going to be a very tough bite. And we are going to have to just pack it on up, get back to the truck, take a look at Google Maps and see what else we can come up with as far as a waiting spot that's nearby. Check out how completely different it is from my last waiting trip to now. Water is clear, calm. The surf is not really coming across and hitting it. We are at low tide. Yeah, I seriously love this clean water. I can see the minnows, everything. Oh man, I got a good feeling about this. Uh oh, got him. Yes. Oh, look at that speckled trout. Goodness gracious, look at this guy. He's a nice one too. Oh, 
<laughs> He's going airborne. Come here, buddy. Look at this fat girl. Look at that right there. And guess what we got it on? The last time what we were using? The Zoom Fluke. Minnow imitation. I just kind of knew I had to throw that right there. Spectacular catch, ladies and gentlemen. That's a good, healthy, probably 18, 17, 18 incher. Thank you so much for playing along and <laughs> right through my legs. Woo, baby. Yeah, we got him, baby. Jigging it off the bottom. This guy's got a lot of weight. He's got some weight. What is it? Oh my gosh, look at that. We got him foul hooked. Buddy, I am so sorry. Man, no wonder why it was so tough. Oh my God. Okay, boy. Oh my Lord. We got him right in the pooper hole. Dude. You're gonna go need some preparation H. We're just gonna let you go. Go take care of that, buddy. Hopefully the bite's gonna turn on. Got him. Another one. They're going to the bottom and picking this thing up. I'm like on the bottom just trying to jig for flounder and these guys are just coming and picking it up. He ruined our plastic. Maybe we'll get one more fish out of it. Sorry, buddy. Got him. Straight retrieve that time. This is a nice keeper right here too, 16 inches all day long. Look at that gorgeous trout right there. Right in the corner of the mouth, destroyed our fluke. But that's what plastics are for, to get destroyed. Gorgeous and healthy, big boy. That is a good one, baby. Yes, that is our third keeper for the day. I take that back. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving whenever you're checking these guys out from far away. If he, yeah, he's probably Man, he's barely pushing 15 if he is a keeper. I'm not going to count him as a keeper, though. Let's see. Okay, so a tad bit above my little red line is where he's at. Actually, he's a lot above. Probably about a half inch above that red line. So if he's a keeper... Uh, uh, that would be three of them then. So we'll measure my my rod whenever we get back home. I'm just curious if I had a keeper or not. And I think it's like I need to do some nail polish or maybe some electrical tape, something like that, alongside over here to let me know what I'm dealing with on days that I come out here wade fishing, just so that I can know if I got a keeper or not. Just boost my confidence. Got him. Oh my God, that's two keepers in a row. That is a, this is a gorgeous speckle trout right here. Ain't no doubt about this one right here for sure. All right, buddy. Oh, there we go, quick release. 
Sorry that I couldn't show y'all, but for sure, definitely a keeper. No doubt about that one. It's 16 going on 17. All we needed to do is just get this running water right over here on the jetty. Y'all can see that ripple going through coming towards me. And I'm just bouncing this lure, the Ned Rig, off the bottom. That tail is sticking up. That's what I imagine it's doing. These guys have had me on mute. That's going to be the last cast right there. Work it extra special. <laughs> going to put that crispy sauce on there. All right. Gave them all my best moves. Those guys don't want to bite. Yeah, so I had a killer outro. At least I think it was. I don't remember what I was saying. But importing the footage right now, and I'm like, oh my gosh. I left it on SMQ mode for the big camera, which means I record in slow motion, 120 frames per second. And uh, anyhow, neither here nor there. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. For all the gear that I use, that's gonna be listed down in the description below. If you decide to buy something from clicking on one of those links, just know I'm required by law to let you know that my channel will earn a small commission. So I really would appreciate it. That definitely helps to support me. And that is gonna do it. Again, thanks so much, and until next time, tight lines, y'all.